It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Memorial Day, Monday, May 30th. I'm James Spann. The weather here stays fairly quiet for the next few days, but we do expect to see an increase in the number of scattered showers and storms later this week, and we could use some rain. Check it out. There's the water vapor satellite view, as we often expect here in late May. The westerlies, the prime storm track, beginning to shift to the north, kind of leaving us in a hot, muggy air mass without much dynamic support. 60s to start the day. Birmingham at 68. We'll expect a high at or just over 90 in most spots this afternoon. Watch warning map. Pretty quiet. A few flash flooding problems over parts of Texas as the day begins. The main severe weather possibilities today up across the high plains. Tomorrow, we note there's a marginal risk close to Interstate 10 near the Gulf Coast, but uh, the northern part of Alabama should be dry. Also a marginal risk over parts of the heartland. And on day three, a couple of marginal risks well to the west and north. No organized severe weather here anytime soon. This is the rain for the next five days, and we need some rain. Uh, this is valid through Saturday morning. The better amounts over the northern part, maybe a half inch there, lighter amounts down to the south. And again, we'll start to see an increase in scattered showers and storms later this week. Tropical weather, tropical depression, Bonnie. It's near Charleston, South Carolina. That's a very early visible shot, still kind of dark. That was captured about 6 o'clock this morning, but obviously it's very disorganized. Uh, Bonnie will be kind of skirting along the... Uh, Coast producing breezy and showery conditions. Uh, but again, it's uh, not been too much of a problem there for the Carolinas this weekend. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06E run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. The westerlies retreating north. And I think the day will be dry. We'll leave it dry, mostly sunny with a high close to 90, maybe low 90s in spots today. Same thing tomorrow, mostly sunny. Say highs 89 to 92. Wednesday, a cold front is uh, lined up there from around Madison, Wisconsin, down to Wichita, Kansas, but the day still looks pretty dry. Same thing, 89 to 92, mostly sunny. But Thursday, the front begins to kind of creep in here with not much support, but we might begin to see an increase in the number of scattered showers and storms over the northern half of the state. Friday, the front just kind of stalls out, begins to fizzle out. Don't think it'll be a big rain day at all, but certainly a chance of a few passing showers or storms. And the high Thursday and Friday dropping uh, into the upper 80s. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins, troughing to the north, the big ridge in the west. Again, down below that, we have the stalled surface front. So uh, we'll say as the weekend begins, a mixture of clouds and sunshine with scattered showers and storms got something planned outdoors no way we can resolve where the showers form or a start stop time but just be aware that there are possibility but on the other hand you should see some sun and the same thing on Sunday another front approaching but the main support way north so uh, really Thursday through the weekend a chance of scattered showers and storms with some sun at times along the way and this is a week from today look at the trough over the east wow that will bring the numbers down if that's right the uh, air will be Drier, humidity values lower, nights cooler, highs in the 80s. This is the end of the forecast period, the middle of next week, Wednesday, June 8th. We've still got troughing over the east, and if that's right, the weather dry as could be. Look at the numbers off the GEFS Ensemble. This is suggesting low 90s, and again, I think 89 to 92 is the right range for this week, and then by Thursday and Friday, the numbers should begin to come down, and you can see by Sunday, the high dropping to 85 63 showing up there by Tuesday morning of next week. I think we'll see some 50s for the cooler pockets. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, we're on a one-a-day schedule today because of the holiday. The next video here tomorrow morning by 7. And if you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great holiday, and God bless.